Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today we're gonna try and rewire the electrical wiring on this trailer. Now, I recently got this tinny, um, a used tinny from uh, someone on Facebook Market. Uh, it's a pretty old tinny, it's actually made in 1975, so <laughs> it's fairly old. But I got it for a pretty decent price and it came with a motor and um, a GPS with a sounder. Um, plus plus um, the gentleman gave me a couple of um, batteries and the anchor so it wasn't a bad deal for a total of 900 it's got a bimini on it as well but uh, I obviously need a trailer for it because it came without a trailer so I've done a little bit of work on it I've done I put some flooring there carpeted it uh, put a few little seats and cushions there so I do still need to give it a good proper wash and uh, partly what I'm gonna do today see all the the grime and the oxidization there so I'm gonna use this product it's a uh, it's acid wash essentially for aluminium tinnies and trailers so I'm gonna give it a go clean it up but yeah coming back to the today's videos topic um, I got this trailer yesterday uh, it's a sort of a small tinny slash jet ski trailer. Um, again, I got it used from someone on Facebook Market for 500. Well, 515 total. He gave me a V lock as well, so not not a particularly bad deal. Uh, doesn't really have much sort of rust on it, so it's in good nick. But uh, the main issue with it is that the right tail light doesn't work. Both the indicator and the brake light doesn't work. So the left one's fine the right one doesn't so it's probably a problem with the light itself but I had a look at the plug it's a fairly old trailer it's from 2004 so it's a 20 year old trailer it had this round plug so I just opened it up just to see what what's going on and uh, that's what it looks like inside so fairly badly rusted um, I mean I can buy a pair of lights for hundred dollars from DCF or in a condo or whatnot and change it. Um, this is the yeah, part of the end. So anyway, but yeah, so I could purchase some lights, change it, but yeah, I'm certainly not happy with how that plug looks. So what I did is I went to Anaconda and I purchased this product. It's uh, made by a company called Arc. It's called Easy Connect Boat Trailer Harness. So it's got everything in it. It's got the lights, it's got the wiring, it's got a few different types of plug, whichever your um, car takes. And uh, apparently it's a fairly straightforward setup. You don't need to do any soldering or, or any real tools. All you need to do is just um, take the old wiring off, just feed it through and just, just put it in. And uh, I got it for a pretty decent price actually. It, um, it was advertised for 150 but it was being sold for 99 at another shop and uh, anaconda price matched it for me in fact they beat the price by 10 percent so i got it for a total of 88 dollars so and that's everything so i thought i might as well get this rather than just try my luck with changing the plug and changing the light and everything so i'll just replace everything and um but yeah first i'll give a bit of an acid wash to the tinny and the trailer and then we'll we'll go and uh, replace the all the wiring on this trailer. So stay tuned. Okay, so I just finished giving the, the tinny and the trailer a bit of a wash, and uh, already they're looking they're looking better than what they were before. So I'll give it more of a polish as well at the end. But this is the result of the acid wash with the product I just showed. So just go ahead now, unbox the that package for that wiring harness and we'll see what gets inside in the meantime i'll let the trailer dry out and we'll get on to working on the trailer yes yeah, so here's what you find when you unbox it um you get the two lights the led waterproof or water submersible tail lights uh, the gray is for the left the black is for the right you get three different types of plugs so uh, seven flat pin plug and uh, seven couple of round pin plugs depending upon the size of the harness on your car <coughs> and you get these two sort of relatively long leads i think it's long enough for a 16 foot trailer um, 
and you can even buy extensions if you've got a bigger trailer so again this goes to the color coded so it goes to the left here and black one goes to the right to the black there which is the right trailer light and then you just feed them to the chassis rail there and bring them up here um, this is the part that goes into the drawbar so you can disconnect them here um, once you fed them through you reconnect them feed this through the drawbar and bring it forward and then this is the part on the on the very end which connects to the so this one will connect to this particular end here and this end will connect to your actual plug so whichever one you use so we'll um, go through and do it the so first part is obviously to disconnect the older trailer lamps and then the easiest way to do it is just um, tape one of these to the pre-existing wire on each side securely and as you pull the older wire through obviously you'll feed the new wire in so so that's the way i'm gonna go and do it so i'll just go ahead disconnect the old lamps and then we'll get on to the next section okay so here we are um we removed the old tail light from the trailer uh, from here just undone the relatively rusted nuts and screws from here and taken this off so i'm not gonna bother with disconnecting the light individually from the globe i'm just gonna cut it here and this is the new one uh, the new bulb and uh, this is the end that goes to the front um, that attaches to the lid there um, so once i've cut this here i'm gonna tape it to this and then i'm just gonna feed this wire through through the chassis rail to bring it out at the front towards the draw, draw bar and then i'm gonna repeat the same step on the left side and we'll go from there Okay, so we've taped the, the new wire to the old cable. Make sure it's nice and straight. There's no kinks or bends in it or knots in it. And then you just got to feed it in through this little hole there. And which will be the tricky part with this end, but it can be fed through. Once you fed it through, you just, just pull it over at the front. So we'll just go ahead and feed it through. Okay, so we've just pulled the wire through, the one for the right tail light. Uh, this is the old cable um, that we've just taped the new one to. So just pull it through this chassis rail here. What I found out actually was it's a lot easier to pass the new cable directly through here uh, instead of that little tiny hole there. So it's probably easier when you're feeding to just feed it straight through there. It comes through straight away. And then this part here, you can just bring it down through through this hole here in the end if you want to. So we'll just go ahead, repeat the same step on the other side, and then we'll move on. Okay, so we've passed the wiring for the left. Gray is the left tail light, and black, which is the right tail light, from the back, from the where the tail lights are supposed to go, through the chassis rails here to where the draw bar is. Now the next step is to, this is the splitter that attaches to these two, gray and the black. And then the other, the other end has to go through the drawbar to the front, where it attaches to the to the final part that attaches to the uh, plug. Uh, so essentially, you've got to pass this wire through the drawbar to the front. And what I might do is I might. So these are the two older wires that are going to that round plug there at the front. So I might cut one of them and take them out and use the other one to draw uh, this wire through, because this hole. Um, it's really tiny so hoping I can do it I don't really want to enlarge this hole um, but yeah we'll, we'll see how we go so we'll just go ahead pass this particular wire through and go from there okay so here we are we've passed the wiring for the splitter through the drawbar to the front um, so next is fairly straightforward um, essentially you hook up this to this so these two hook up this one goes to whichever uh, type of trailer plug you want to use. Mine is a flat pin one, so yeah, I use this one. If you've got a round pin, small or large one, you can use those two that I showed you earlier that came in the back. So you connect this, this one here, and uh, this is the other end of the splitter. So you just connect the gray to gray, black to black. Just tuck the splitter in one of the chassis rail, whichever one you like. And then just go to the back fit your tail lights on they've provided nuts and bolts so put them through these holes and just 
connect the gray to the gray, black to the black there, put the number plate on and that's it. So we'll just go ahead, do all of these and then we'll test it, make sure everything's working okay. Okay, so here we are. We've done all the wiring and securing the tail lights and, and everything. So it's all done, ready to go now. So tail lights have gone in here. Put some new screws for the number plate. Took, took out the old rusted ones. There's the little sort of plastic rubber plate that goes behind the tail light on the right. Um, it supports the tail light and the number plate at the same time. Wiring is going in from here, from underneath into this hole here. Any excess wiring, you just tuck it into the chassis rail there. Same thing on this side. Light secured here, wiring's going in through here. This little narrow hole there. Coming to the front. It's going in here. Both the wires come in through here and then go into the splitter. And uh, that's it here. So I've got the seven pin flat plug, so I put that one on. But yeah, you can choose from the other two plugs, the big and the small round one. So we'll just hook up the trailer connect the plug and uh, make sure everything's working okay okay guys so yeah i've just hooked it onto the car the trailer and uh, i've just put a log onto my brake pedal just to make sure that the brake lights are working so as you can see they're on in the car and on in the trailer so i'll just go ahead take that one off and then we'll check both the indicators okay so the right indicator first All good, working on the trailer and the car. Go and do the left indicator. That's the left indicator. I just turned the headlights on as well while I was there. And uh, as you can see, these two lights on the interior, they go on when the headlights on. And it's got a little number plate light on as well. As you can see here, that goes on. So you'd be able to see the number plate at night time. So, so that's it. We're all pretty happy with it. All the lights are working. Everything's working great. Um, so yeah, it wasn't sort of too hard to set up. No soldering, no crimping, no cutting, slicing of wires or anything. So. Don't really need any tools at all, really. Um, so yeah, and the good thing is that all the the parts are removable individually. So for example, if one of the lights does fail at some stage, um, you don't need to cut or slice anything. You just need to unclip it from the harness here and you can buy a new light, spare lights online or, or at Anaconda. Um, so you just go and get a new light and, and just sort of plug and play. So. So yeah, that's it. Uh, new set of trailer lights, plug, wiring, everything, all for a total of $88. Um, fairly happy, totally waterproof, submersible. So there you go. So that's the Arc Easy Connect board trailer harness. As I can say, you can buy it online, buy it from Anaconda. I don't really have any affiliation with them. So I'm just, yeah, making the video because I like the product, that's all. Thanks for watching, hope you liked the video, and if you did, please hit the like and subscribe button, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.